The challenge cup is on! Woo! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. In the post game, I believe I said that if you turn your game on and off, when you turn it back on, there's a chance that the challenge cup will appear. And that's basically what I did here to get the challenge cup to appear. And then I saved in the lobby to make sure that I would have the challenge cup ready to go for the next walkthrough part. So, let's get to the challenge cup after a quick deck modification. <laughs> what I'm gonna do here, because I got the Lapras, I'm going to slap that in there because I like Lapras. And I'm also gonna slap in the legendary Articuno card and swap out these two Articuno cards. I know those two Articuno cards have served me well, but I thought I would get that set up just so I could show you the new cards and who's our opponent up there on the stage? Who knows? It's randomized. Actually, I don't recognize the sprite. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. I would like to enter. <laughs> it's the same dialogue, basically, which is why I'm clicking through it. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I plan on doing at least two challenge cups uh, during the course of the main game, but I forgot about that one with the Mew. And yeah, hopefully I'll be, be able to get a Mew. Uh, it's a Waterfront Pokemon deck. No, I recognize her! <laughs> um, you can get 13 different cards um, through the Challenge Cup, all promotional cards. Some are missable promotional cards during the main game, like say that Slowpoke, if you choose not to give that guy um, any energy cards for the Slowpoke, uh, and he'll run off. You can actually get that Slowpoke here, as well as multiple copies of it. But of course, what I'm going to go for here is the Level 8 Mew card. Uh, that I missed out on earlier, but anyway, I got my fresh Lapras Raren to go, which is kind of surprising considering that, uh, I, you know, I have 60 cards and I only have one copy of Lapras, and I just slapped it in, and here it is! <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next turn, slap that up down there, put that Squirtle down in there, and, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get a Blastoise coming here. But anyway, um, uh, I'll do another Water Gun. Yeah, just in case of a potion, maybe, if she has a potion, because who knows? Because then what I'll do is I'll add, attach an extra water energy and knock out Goldene outright. Ah, a paralyzing Articuno of Legend. I'm surprised I, draw it. I drew it as well. But anyway, I'm going to do that and just attack. See, I don't need to paralyze anything right now, so I'm not going to slap Articuno on the bench. But I might decide to do it on a Psyduck here, just for the kicks, because I'll be able to knock out Psyduck in two turns anyway, and I'd like to prevent uh, as many attacks as I possibly can from it, if at all possible, but who knows if I'll be able to... Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> I thought I was going to get... So she was going to get th three heads in a row, but no, nope, not this time. That is good for me, and... Uh, I'm going to energy removal... Wait, actually, hold on. I'm going to put this down and hope for paralysis. Oh, well, that was a kind of a waste. <laughs> sort of, but at least I got an Articuno ready to go later on anyway. Um, energy removal on... I think I'll do it on this Goldeen, actually. And then what I'll do is... Is, is... <laughs> uh, evolve that. And then... attack with a 30-point water gun. Why I didn't do the Confuse Ray is because the water gun will end up taking two turns to d destroy that Psyduck anyway. So, yeah. Mm, Uh-oh. She's looking good for her again? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there's that third head she missed out on the last run. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh! I don't need to computer search for a Blastoise. Well, I guess I'll computer search for a um, Professor Oak on the next turn then. <laughs> and I'll be able to get loads of water energy. Anyway, Water Gun to knock out the Psyduck. Bye bye, Ducky. And. Oh, there's Professor Oak! I don't need. To <laughs> what should I computer search for? I'm getting all the cards I want and then some. <laughs> Well, let's see what I got on the field here. Um, well, let's see. Um, -nom -nom -nom. Um, -nom -nom. I don't even really have anything to 
evolve too. I got everything set up. <laughs> I guess I could pull a side duck with. Wait, hold on a sec. Huh, I thought I heard something. Anyway, I, I guess I could pull a side duck because uh, uh, I can evolve it to gold duck. You know, potentially, maybe. Or I could have grabbed another water energy card and just slapped it down for the blast, you know, with the Blastoise, but eh, I'll just see what I can power up in its entirety on my bench, I guess. Hey, Bill. I guess I could have put, pulled a Bill as well for my deck as well, but anyway, I'm going to energy removal at Seeking. And by the way, I didn't use that super energy removal because, yeah, both of these only had one energy card and I wouldn't really be getting the most uh, use out of the energy uh, super energy removal card. So yeah, I just decided to drop it with computer search. Mm. 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 Eh, I'll just attack. <laughs> I have the power of Blastoise to drop as many water energy cards as I please on my turn, so... Yeah, it's not really a big concern to set up water energy on Pokémon ahead of time and guess what the opponent's gonna have, because I know pretty much that I can react accordingly. Mm, I guess I could make another Dugong. Because why not? <laughs> uh, maybe I should have Confused Ray there, because uh, Water Gun would have taken one more uh, attack anyway, and the Confused Ray would have dropped it down to 30. And yeah, I probably should have Confused Ray, but now we'll never know if I would have been able to save my Lapras. But that's okay, I guess. Um, who should I put out of my arsenal? <laughs> I think that, and I'll Energy Removal the Slowpoke on the bench. Get the water energy cards on Dugong! And Aurora Beam, but I'll power up my other seal to Dugong. And now Aurora Beam. Wah! And there we go. Oh yeah. You may remember if you're using a Rain Dance deck, well, Rain DDR deck, be sure to have a lot of Professor Oak and Bill cards to make sure if you get the energy that you need. Uh, and also think ahead too, because you want to have that sort of combo going uh, whenever you get Blastoise out. Uh, actually, focus on getting Blastoise and then you know the drawing cards if at all possible. Uh, anyway, I guess I can just Aurora Beam her last Pokemon away, take my last prize card. She doesn't even have any bench Pokemon because I swept her clean, <laughs> and I won the game. Yay! Happy days! Oh yeah! Woohoo! Let's see our next challenger of the challenge cup! Joshua, isn't he another one at the water club? Anyway, I'm gonna save my game here and get the duel going. Oh yeah! Yep, he's the guy that blocked us from playing Amy. <laughs> the bodyguard of sorts. So what's with all the water club people here? That's kind of kind of silly. Ooh. By the way, don't place Articuno on the first turn. You won't be able to paralyze the opponent's Pokemon. At least not unless you absolutely have to place Articuno. Like if it's, if it's the only card in your hand, you got Legendary Articuno, then you ab absolutely have to place it. But otherwise, save it for later. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Seal. Squirtle on the bench, Psyduck, and I'll save the other seal for a potential computer search or super energy removal, something like that. Alright, let's see what he's got. Or C. That could be that could cause me great amounts of ire. Potentially. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, he's got another seal on the bench. I mean he's got a seal on the bench now. I was hoping to knock out that horsey before it uh, before he gets some other bench Pokemon, but it is not to be. Even though he had an empty hand of basic Pokemon, because he had that bill, he was able to set up. And yeah, I'll slap down that Staryu. Like, literally slap the Staryu down, because it's going to be slapping later, and... <laughs> ah, poopers. <laughs> Dang, that smokescreen. It's as powerful as it is on a horsey as it is on a level 31 Magmar. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Water energy, I'll put that on Staryu, and hope that my headbutt goes through. There we go. Very nice. Sorta, kinda. <laughs> uh oh, Lapras. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Lapras is a better basic Pokemon than any basic Pokemon I have out. But we'll see how things go. 
Never count out the rain DDR deck. Oh, there's a <laughs> star me. Okay. So I guess I could get that going. And headbutts. Oh, yeah. And hopefully, I'll be able to get good use out of that star me when he pulls out the inevitable Lapras. Which will most likely be the next Pokemon he's going to attack with once I knock out Horsey. If I knock out Horsey because of the smoke screen. Uh, what I actually could have done is switched uh, from Steel over to a Staryu. Oh, computer search. Um, I don't want to really waste the legendary Articuno's freeze, but I don't know. This is a good opportunity to get a Professor Oak, so bye bye, legendary Articuno. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not about the cards you have, but how well you use them. In this case, I didn't really have a super, super effective use for um, that Articuno, so yeah. Um, 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 hmm. What I could do is get that Lapras removed of its energy, and also get the Horsey removed of its energy, and then. Evolve Psyduck, Psychic Attack, oh, I need a Psychic Energy, and I don't really have that in this deck build. Uh, Psyduck and Golduck are basically placeholders for the Magikarp Gyarados sort of line type thing, uh, I guess you could say. Um, but they're still good cards in their own right. But I think Gyarados works better in the Rain DDR deck because of their whole uh, uh, grass resistance sort of thing. Um, I really, I don't have a... Blastoise ready to go, because I don't have the War Turtle ready to go, or a Pokemon Breeder card. I'm just trying to think here. Like, should I evolve Seal into Dugong? Or should I try attacking with it? I'm thinking I'm gonna do that and try to attack with it. Ah, it failed. So it wouldn't have mattered if I evolved it to Dugong anyway. But the thing is, I want to evolve it to Dugong on. Like, when I could attack to. Oh no! Surprise plus power! I should have evolved to Dugong! <laughs> well, that's the power of plus power. You just never know when it's gonna be slapped down. Alright, Starmie it is then. I'll be able to counter, I suppose you could call it, <laughs> with a Star Freeze. Oh, there's the War Turtle. Good! Delightful, in fact. And do that. And evolve to Blastoise on the next turn. Okay. Okay. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Take that prize card. Just gotta click through the prize cards. I don't really pick a specific one. Uh, because I don't even know what I'm picking anyway. So I always just pick whatever one they automatically select. <laughs> just the sort of habit that I have. Just to speed things along. Hello, Professor Oak! <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a seal anymore, no! But anyway, I most certainly want to Blastoise it up. And... I think I'll power up Blastoise this time around. And... And I guess I'll put that on the bench too, just in case I get another Blastoise. And I, I best hurry up and Professor Oak as soon as possible, I think. Just to see what other card drawing cards I can draw into, and I get pretty much nothing. <laughs> Well, in any case, um, I might, might super energy remove like Kingler on the next turn, maybe, <laughs> we'll see. Whoa! It all depends if uh, he decides to double up on the energy card, so we're gonna see, maybe, oh he's putting on Lapras, well I could uh, super energy remove the Lapras because he's got yeah, two energy on that, I thought. So that's what I am going to do. Do that, move it on Blastoise, just because. Because I got all these other energy cards at this moment in time. It's not super effective. <laughs> oh yeah, so I don't have any... Well, actually, it doesn't matter, I don't have any more uh, uh, Dugong cards, do I? Uh, I think I drew both of them. Hold on a sec. Dugong... No, wait, no I do have another Dugong. Okay, so I guess I could get use out of another Dugong. <laughs> Star Freeze, Paralysis, Yahoo! <laughs> Delightful. Now, unless he switches, that Kingler is a goner. Sound good? Good. 
I guess I'll power up a Blastoise on the side here. And then Star Freeze. I figured that I would dump some of the energy cards out because I got a decent arsenal of Pokemon going on here. So I, I can afford to drop a few energy cards on something even if the uh, future outcome of his moves is unpredictable because I have the energy to react to stuff. Um, um, um. Yeah, that's gonna get energy removal just in case because a Dugong could come out of that. And Star Freeze. You know, with the name Star Freeze, it would probably be super effective against uh, a flying type Pokemon, but no, no, not really. <laughs> because, you know, you would think it's an ice attack, and no, wouldn't work. At least not be super effective. Uh, oh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? It's energy removal, even his bench Pokemon, especially since he's gonna go for. Powering up the Lapras of all things, and Lapras is pretty beastly. Oh, no energy cards! Ha ha! Ho ho! Yeah, I pretty much got this game won, in case you can't tell. <laughs> Once Blastoise is out and I get the Professor Oak to uh, reload my hand, that's pretty much the end. I got a Lapras myself, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I, I figured that he would put out the Lapras to at stall at the very least, but I'm guessing that he just drew that. Uh, uh, Krabby, which is why you put it on the bench, because typically they, they computer opponents put stuff on the bench immediately when they can. And I'm gonna try to paralyze. Nope, it failed. Uh, what I'm gonna do on the next turn is retreat Starmie to Blastoise, give Blastoise two energy cards, Blastoise will do 60 damage, and I'll have won the game. How do you like that? <laughs> Sound good? I was hoping so. So, retreats. Plop that on there, plop this on there, Hydro Pump for the win! Because Hydro Pump to 60. And there we go, or total. <laughs> Woo! Victory goes to uh, the Dancers of Legend. <laughs> Woo! Alrighty, let's see who our final opponent is. Uh, it's gonna be not Ronald. Sometimes Ronald is in the finals. <laughs> Alright, I would most certainly like to prepare my deck, and by prepare my deck, I mean save my game, and end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part!